My name is Justin Yomot, and welcome back to the CNT Podcast. Today I'm here with Chicago Cubs right-hand pitcher prospect, Jonathan DeMonte. How you doing, guys? Thanks for having me on, Justin. Thanks for coming on. So I got some questions, so let's get right on into it. The first question I have is, what is your biggest on-field accomplishment? I think my biggest um, on-field accomplishment was playing a playing an important role in the uh, in the Israeli national baseball team qualifying for this this summer's Olympics. Um, I had the chance to pitch in some pretty high leverage situations during the European qualifiers, and uh, yeah, I think I played a pretty decent part in helping us be the first country to qualify for the Olympics. That's super cool. That's really cool. What I'm I'm very excited that there's baseball back in the Olympics. So that's very cool that you that you were a part of a team that was one of the was the first to qualify. Yeah, no, I'm excited for the opportunity to compete in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure to keep keep a lookout for you when I'm watching. Cool. What is your biggest goal for 2021? Uh, I think my biggest goal for 2021 is to remain healthy throughout the season and play at as high as level as possible with the Chicago Cubs. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to throw a pitch in affiliate ball yet, but um, my goal is to make as much of an impact on the organization as possible and see, see what, see what's kind of, uh, see what kind of challenges there are in front of me. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. I mean, the good news is Cubs pitching hasn't been the greatest. So there's all a lot of room for prospects to come in. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. What aspect of your game are you most proud of? Um, I think the fact that I've been very resilient throughout my entire career. I mean, I've had numerous injuries and arm surgeries that have kind of knocked me down. And the odds, I think, were really against me to have an opportunity to play minor league baseball. So um, I think the thing that I'm most proud of is the fact that I was able to overcome kind of everything that I went through in college and get to the point where I'm at today. So I'm pretty proud to be where I'm at and all the steps that I've taken to get here. Mm-hmm. That, that's really cool. I mean, you're living a lot of kids' dreams being to be a pro player. And I know it was my dream for a while, and that's super cool. And it's something definitely to be proud of. Thank you. Uh, so if a fan were to send the card to you, would you sign it and send it back? Of course, yeah, except uh, because we didn't play last year, there were no baseball cards made of me, so you might have to you might have to make your own, but I would I would happily sign them and send them back. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. I I like to do that with the players I interview. I try and have everyone I interview. I try to get a card signed. I haven't been fully able to do it, but I've been trying. So when you get when I when you a card of you does drop, I'll make sure to get it to send over. Sounds good, Justin. So who do you think your game embraces the most? You said, who do you think my game embraces the most? Yeah. Um, So you're saying like, who do I, who do I kind of think that I look like when I pitch or who do I try to emulate? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, someone that I really like to watch is Joe Kelly. I think I have a little bit different body type, but I like the way he has like a very short and quick arm action. Um, and honestly, like when I do side by side views with myself and big leaguers trying to kind of analyze video, Joe Kelly is someone that I really like to watch. Um, I really like the way Corey Kluber goes about his business. Um, I think he's very regimented pitcher and I love the way he moves on the mound. I love the way he pitches. I love his style of training. So those are two guys that I really like to follow. That's super cool. That's really cool. I mean, Corey Kluber it was really good. And his prime, he's got a little older. I do think he's going to still be solid this year with the Yankees. And Joe Kelly's always fun to watch, for me at least. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. So what were you thinking when you were signing your first contract? Uh, That was the most, I'd say, self-fulfilling moment of my life. I mean, that's with a dream. I mean, my goal my whole life has been to play Major League Baseball and have that opportunity. So, I mean... The fact that it happened at age 26, pretty unusual time for guys to sign their first contract was a pretty fulfilling moment for myself. I mean, when I was sitting there, when I was sitting there signing that paper, I mean, it was, I I could not hold back like the smile on my face because it just felt like 
I had finally had all my dreams come true. But honestly, after right after that moment, you know, things kind of go back to normal where there's still you still got to keep your foot on the gas pedal and try to do everything you can to continue to improve. Because once you sign and once you get there, there's still a long way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I that makes sense. That's super cool, though. Like, obviously, a lot of baseball fans dream is to make it. And so I bet being able to sign that contract must have felt very good. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, so what pitches do you throw? I throw fastball, changeup, and slider. And my best my best off-speed pitch is my changeup. Mm-hmm. That's very good. I mean, got to have a fastball, and I do feel like changeups are very effective. So how fast do you throw? Uh, it kind of depends on the day. I'm anywhere from low to mid-90s. And on some of my best days, I've been up to, like, 97, 98. But um, – Normally anywhere from like 92 to 95, sometimes sometimes higher, sometimes a bit lower. Hopefully a little bit more than that this year. Mm-hmm. That's super cool. I mean, I still can't imagine being able to try and hit a fastball going at least 70, <laughs> let alone getting up to 97 on some days. Yeah, hey, I can't imagine facing a fastball that fast either. <laughs> so what is your greatest goal on the field? My greatest goal on the field is to play Major League Baseball. I mean, I think more so for this immediate summer, it's to uh, win a medal with Team Israel. But, I mean, my ultimate goal has never changed. It's to play Major League Baseball, and I'd like to do whatever it takes to get there. Mm-hmm. That's super cool. I mean, hopefully you do win a medal with Israel. That'd be really cool to see. And I do very much hope that you do make it to the Cubs. Thank you. Or any other team, and for Thank that matter. I I just I like seeing young players be able to succeed. So uh, hopefully you win a medal and hopefully you make it to the majors with the team, preferably the Cubs. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate you calling me young also. That makes me feel good. Mm-hmm. So if you could tell your 10-year-old self one thing, what would it be? Uh, I think to really live in the moment, enjoy it as much as possible not look forward to the future. Obviously my goal, like we've talked about here is always to play big league baseball. But uh, one thing that I think kind of takes away from the enjoyment of the game is when people look forward to what's going to happen next, instead of just living in the moment. I mean, I think baseball is the greatest game out there and it's so much fun to play, but if you're looking forward to tomorrow, um, you're never really going to fully be able to embrace and enjoy what's in front of you. Cause even to this day, playing professional baseball is a blast, but like, minor league baseball and independent ball are pretty similar from the standpoint that you're not really, yes, you want to win when you're on the field competing, but the goal is your own personal development and to grow and climb up in levels and get signed or play in the big leagues. So you're pretty much competing against your teammates up until you make it to the big leagues and finally have the chance to really play to win again. So I think one thing that's just like extraordinary about youth baseball compared to pro baseball is you actually get to play to win. Um, and I think that's one thing that we really take for granted and one thing that I'm sure a lot of pro pro guys miss about their youth baseball days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do see that. I mean, I've obviously, I've never played at a pro level. I've only played at youth level and I never really fully thought about that. Like you are competing with, for a spot against your teammates. Yeah. But like also at the same time, you might, your team my, the minors might be going for a championship. Like That is correct. That's it's a very interesting take on it. I haven't fully thought about that. Uh, who is your hero? Uh, my grandparents. They've been so unbelievably supportive of me. Um, I mean, they worked from not having much to building a really nice life for themselves and their kids and their grandkids. And they've always been some of my biggest supporters um like they've they've always been there for me throughout anything they're following all my baseball games constantly contacting me after every outing checking in to see how things are going they've just been a really big support system for myself and my family over the years that's super cool um I'm very close with my grandparents as well and so they also they follow every episode and they tell me what they liked about it that's great so I I connect with I Grandparents are some of the greatest people. Yes, they are. We're lucky to have them. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, did you collect baseball cards as a kid? Uh, 
You still there, Justin? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? I lost my video. Yeah, well, as long as you can hear me. Um, I did collect baseball cards as a kid. Um, I kind of didn't do it for too long. And um, I think I, that probably fizzled out when I got into like my teenage years, but I was very big into it when I was younger. Another thing that I, myself and my friends did was we played a game called MLB Showdown. Um, and that for my friends and I was like the most fun thing ever. We absolutely loved it. That's very cool. Um, I myself have a very big collection of cards and I, I don't really play on the show, but I play MLB the show when I can. MLB the show, of course. Mm -hmm. They're both amazing. Yeah. So I enjoy doing that as well. Uh, do you have any superstitions? Um, I am very, I, I warm up a lot. Like I'm big into like movement and mobility and I am like, Everywhere I go, I always get joked on because I put so much time into like my warm up and stretching. But I'm also the type where I don't really need to do all that every single day to be ready to go. But one thing that I'm very superstitious about is like I have to chew bubble gum when I pitch. I just, if I don't have something like that in my mouth, I just feel like the concentration level, not that it differs, but like I just feel like I'm able to lock in more when I'm like aggressively chomping down on a piece of gum. <laughs> that's pretty cool i mean i haven't heard many superstitions but uh one guy that i got an interview um said that he always has to eat a certain candy before he goes out to pitch uh, yes i've seen so, those too that's kind of similar it's pretty cool uh so last question here is who is a player you hope to play with or against in your career with or against in my career I honestly love, I love watching Corey Kluber. I really like guys who go about their business and kind of keep their emotions pretty even keeled, except for really showing their emotions on the mound. I just love the way he goes about his business. I have just watched so much video of him over the years and I've listened to him talk on podcasts. He's someone I would really like to play with. I think Michael Lorenzen's a really interesting guy just because of the way he takes care of his body and the aggressive ways that he trains. And I mean, he's got some of the biggest arms for a pitcher. I've ever seen. Um, obviously, everybody would love to play with Mike Trout um, and have that have that opportunity. I mean, it's pretty cool to see Javi Baez walk around the Cubs complex every day. I think that would be someone that would be fun to play with. So, yeah, those are some guys I think it would be pretty neat to share a field with. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. I think all I think all of them would are great players and would be fun to play with as well. Uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for coming on. It was a great time. Yeah, of course, Justin. Thanks for having me. Where are you located at? Uh, I live in Everett, Washington currently. Like state of Washington? Yeah. Wow. Is there much baseball up there besides the Mariners? Uh, yeah, there's the Rainiers, which is the Manos AAA, and then there's the Autosats, who are the single A. Isn't there uh, some West Coast League college teams out there too? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, okay. Very cool. Well, Justin, thanks for reaching out to me and having me on. I appreciate you doing this. Thanks for coming on. It truly does mean a lot to me. All righty, of course. We'll have a good weekend, Justin. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to tune in next week, and I will see you then.